Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is The Sugar Ray Show, and I am Sugar Ray. Um, and on this channel, I'll be basically just documenting my journey. I'll be interviewing people, talking about different things related to community, um, family, love, life, um, parenting, um, you know, working, um, entrepreneurship, spirituality. Um, not only will I be talking to people about those uh, topics, um, I'll be addressing them myself speaking to them myself um but yeah right now you know it's 5 47 a.m it is friday uh november 9th um i've been up since 2 a.m um just meditating man strategizing um just figuring out the next steps you know um if you know me already and if you follow me on social media you know that um recently i completed and was um I completed a, a script for a client, my first script writing client, and his review was amazing, you know, um, satisfactory, double thumbs up. Um, I completed it 10 days ahead of the deadline. Um, that's how serious I am about my writing. That's how serious I am about providing my clients with um, a, a, a product, right, that they are comfortable with, that they are confident in, Um so yeah, I'm just I'm just excited. I'm just excited for this journey. Uh I've been through a lot. I continue to grow through a lot. No different than any of you. Um I may have a different outlook on it. I count it all joy. I fully trust the process. I know that everything that happens uh in life is not necessarily happening to me, but for me. I know that I am one with the universe, not separate. I know that the universe exists with inside of me. I know that I also exist with you know inside of a universe, the universe. Um, so it's inter intertwined, right? Interconnected, um, cannot be separate. And so when things happen, I don't get too down anymore. I used to, I used to get distraught, man. I used to cry for days and weeks, um, and be emotionally paralyzed and not want to do anything, um, productive or constructive with my time or my life. Uh, but as I grow, as I evolve into this new being, Right, because that's what I'm essentially becoming. I'm shedding the old skin. I'm shedding the skin of self pity. I'm shedding the skin of doubt. I'm shedding the skin of procrastination. I'm shedding the skin of uh, blame. Right, for a long time, I blamed my mother. I blamed my father. I blamed, uh, you know, my family um, for not supporting me the way I felt they should. For not sticking behind me the way I felt they should. As I as I am now uh, an adult and a parent myself, I realize that everyone has somebody to blame. If I blame my mother, my mother can blame her mother. If I blame my father, my father can blame his father. And that everyone can blame everyone until the beginning of time. But no one gets anything accomplished like that. No one achieves massive success by blaming. So what do I do? I say, Sugar Ray, you know what? You got to man up. Uh, take full responsibility. Yeah, there were some things that happened that were beyond your control, but there is nothing you can do about that now. Uh, blaming doesn't serve you. Seeking forgiveness from the person who may have harmed you doesn't uh, elevate you, doesn't propel you forward. You may want to hear it, but that's for your own ego. You want to hear them say sorry. You want to hear them say that they did something wrong, but that doesn't serve you in any way. So you have to, in your own heart, Forgive. In your own heart, you have to let go. In your own heart, you have to commit to moving forward. And once you do that, then you no longer uh, dwell on not necessarily what happened, but who did it, who hurt you. It doesn't matter. It's, this thing happened, and uh, I'm going to find out how to use it to my benefit. And for me, as a storyteller, Right, as a storyteller, I pride myself on the ability to tell stories that captivate people, to tell stories that engage people, to tell stories that make people feel, that make people feel. And so I know that the stories I like have a lot of drama in it. They have a lot of drama and they have suspense and you don't know what's gonna happen and it's it's like, whoa, those are the stories that I like, those are the stories that draw me, and so I know that those are also the stories that draw many others. Those are also the stories that many others um, look forward to listening to or seeing or reading. And so as a storyteller, I say, you know what? All of this stuff happened. A lot happened. Yes, this is true. But let me put it in a story. Or let me uh, use it for my story. Let me look at it in a way that this is adding to my story and this is going to make me greater. This thing that happened, these things that happened, if I can articulate them in a way to uh, 
I guess, captivate someone or get someone to listen, right? Then it will make me more powerful, right? It will make me more powerful to share what I've gone through and grown through in a story format that can reach someone else and may identify, you know, they may be identif- they may be able to identify with parts of the story. Um, so that's what I'm here, man. I'm here again this morning, just um, touching up on this YouTube thing, man. Um, I've been doing Facebook Live videos, uh, not as much Instagram Live videos. I don't have a Snapchat, but um, <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I got some brands that I'm building, um, this black man working thing. Right, um, you know, podcast man. Um, you can get into that. We're gonna be talking to black men who work. Right, um, I started that a couple of years ago. We just photographed black and white photos of brothers uh, who are working, whatever their work is, whether they're a vendor on the street, whether they're uh, in a corporate office, whether they're in the lab, um, you know, whether they're on the court, on the field, whether they're in a the gym, whatever their work is, I will be talking to them, finding out. Why they do what they do, how they do it, how did they get into that field, um, and talk just about that field, man, and, and how they may be able to mentor or inspire a younger person or just a fellow brother who maybe want to be in that field. Because as black men, we got to stick by each other. We really got to be brothers. We can't just say it. We got to live it. We got to show it. And um, yeah, it's, it's always great to have financial support, but the best support you can get is someone's time. That's the best thing someone can do for you is give you their time, especially someone who is busy, especially someone who is on the grind, someone who has a full life. They're a parent and, you know, they have this job and they have this business and they have all of these goals. The best thing they can do for you or the most impactful thing they can do for you is give you some of their time, give you some of their wisdom. Right. And so um, that's what I'm committed to. And I'm committed to building that network. I'm committed to building that, uh, 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 that network, basically, of black men who work and who don't mind sharing with other black men who are looking for work, right? Or who are looking to work or who are looking to learn. Um, and just the black community in general, not just black men, but black women. Because again, at the end of the day, we have to be there for each other. We have to do more to support each other. And it's not just always financial, it's time, it's wisdom, it's knowledge, it's opportunity. You know, um, maybe you can't give me any cash if I need it, but can you give me an opportunity to make some cash? Can I do a job for you? You know, um, it's simple things, <clears throat> but um, <clears throat> again, I got some big plans, man. I got some big plans, some big dreams, um, some big dreams that I'm turning into goals, and I'm actually planning now. Um, I haven't done that historically for my life, but um, yo, we lit, literally. Um, got a bunch of things happening, man. So shout out to you all for tuning in. Uh, 